Om Shanti and good morning to all of you listeners. Welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul that truth lies within. And uh, today's meditative blessing is very, very crucial. What we learn through this meditation and what are the powers which you attain through this meditation is what we're going to discuss over here. And uh, you can also go and check out the link down below in the playlist of this channel where you are at different topics. Have a look and do leave your comments and do share it with others for their benefit. So let's go ahead with today's 253rd day of a godly blessing. What does Papa have to say? Papa says, may you be master knowledgeful. First, you have to take the knowledge from God and powerful. <clears throat> How do we do that? By keeping the eye of your intellect clear and careful. The complete wisdom is not through the five senses, it's through the sixth sense. So the sixth sense can only be awakened or the soul consciousness can only be awakened through divine knowledge and by attaining power. And through meditation, you attain the divine knowledge and the power in completion. Let's get to the details. Astrologers, Baba says, astrologers can know about any calamities to come with their knowledge of astrology and the omens. So astrologers can predict those things similarly you children can know in advance about the test papers to come from maya let's say you are meditating you will suddenly come to know that some soul is about to say something to you yes it happens some form of calamity is going to come you can predict that also whether it's an earthquake whether it's landslide whether it's heavy rainfall you can predict that you can feel it you see just like we say cats and dogs they can feel those things in advance why because they don't have greed for things around them. They're not lusting around for things around them. They have limited use of intellect. They are just thinking of survival, reproduction maybe. And that's what is keeping their sixth sense awakened. Whereas we souls are getting into so many different sensual uh, pleasures and so many different areas of our life. We take our intellect into so many directions that our sixth sense gets diluted. That means we're using too much of our mind into worldly things. So we cannot predict what's going to happen next in the next moment. We are not even ready for that. So Baba says, similarly, you children can <clears throat> know in advance about the test papers to come from Maya. So in order to pass with honors, make the eye of your intellect clear and be careful. How do we do that? Through meditation. While connecting with the Supreme God, the Father, he guides us. He cleans our eye, inner eye. And when he does that, he protects us indirectly. So when we are meditating with God, he protects us. How? Because when our mind becomes more and more focused onto him, our sixth sense becomes more and more awakened. The third eye is getting more and more awakened about the consciousness of the whole world. Not just self-consciousness, not just body consciousness. I, me, myself goes away. When I, me, myself goes away, the sixth sense becomes more and more wider and we can get to know what can happen next. You can predict things, you can predict your own life. It's not that you become an astrologer. You are somebody who uses that knowledge for protecting self, protecting your family members, protecting the world around you, people around you. And you can know what is going to come and you're already prepared for it, pre-prepared for it. It's not a shock for you. So then God says, so in order to pass with honors, make the eye of your intellect clear and be careful. Day by day, increase your powers of remembrance and silence. That is what is important when you meditate. When you are in silence, you take out one hour of your life for yourself. Close the room, shut down the room, shut down your mobile. For one hour, you are meditating, talking to God and increasing your catching power of what is happening in the world. Yes, you can do that. Remembrance, silence and you will know in advance on which day something is going to happen. So even the coronavirus... What's going to happen? We were predicting it. Earthquakes, we have predicted it. We means people in Brahmakamais who are meditating, they can get to know what's going to happen. Be master knowledgeful and powerful and you will never be defeated. So, master knowledgeful and powerful. Through meditation it can happen. And you will never be defeated by what? By any test papers in your life. How do you do that? Learn the meditation process for free. See, this knowledge is given by God. So, God cannot charge even a single penny. You must be thinking there must be some hidden cost behind it. Well, this is not an organization which is doing any kind of commercial kind of uh, work. It is for worldly service. And we students, we run this place. We don't pay a fees every day to run it. It's our own wish what we want to contribute. And that's how it is run. It is not collecting any form of uh, 
uh, money from any organization it's not running like an organization which goes out and asks for any kind of tithe or any kind of funds no fundraising is done in this organization it is run by us students who love what we learn who learn from this and improve our own life and for that we feel like we want to contribute to it so go ahead and learn from the brahma kumaris godly spiritual university and learn this art so that your six senses awaken and you can protect yourself and your loved ones and everybody around you have a blessed day stay safe stay protected and be content and powerful om shanti Thank you.